New for you at five earlier this month, a nonprofit organization helped identify a man found in Jefferson County three years ago. Now they're trying to identify other bodies found here in Tennessee. Three of them. Uh, Kristen Allen has details. The DNA Doe project helped to identify Earl Joseph Pizzaferrato on January 9th. TBI officials brought the complicated case to DNA Doe Project in 2020 with little details. And it got more challenging because um, Earl turned out to be adopted. So while the team was initially able to find one set of grandparents, it took a long time to find the other set of grandparents. And then the circumstances of the adoption really complicated things. While Pizzaferrato's case is still open, he at least has his name back all thanks to a group of volunteers with a passion for genealogy. We use advanced DNA testing, investigative genetic genealogy, to identify John and Jane Doe. Karen Binder is the director of education for the DNA Doe Project. She says the solution to these puzzles is found within their family tree. With the DNA match list, it gives us a list of matches, uh, genetic matches of the individual from closest to most distant relatives. And we build back the family trees of those genetic matches to find connections between them. Right now, DNA Doe Project is working to identify three people who were found in Tennessee. Two of those cases have unique challenges. Uh, one thing that's really challenging about a case of an African-American person is that the matches are usually fewer and less, few, fewer and more distant than a Caucasian or Western European person. The longer a case stays cold, the more difficult it is to identify a person. But the DNA Doe Project says giving someone back their name is the most important thing they can do. We all think about our impact on this world and what we'll be known for after we're gone. And John and Jane Doe's deserve that as much as everyone else. Their identity was the first thing that they were given when they were born, and they deserve it in death as well. Kristen Allen, WVLT News. The nonprofit says you can upload your DNA testing data from popular sites, Ancestry, DNA, 23andMe. Send them to a database, and they will use that to assist in identifying missing people. We can help you with that in the WVLT News app.